This is a game I'm particularly excited about because, as some of you guys know, I used to play a single player mod for Escape from Tarkov called SP Tarkov. Super fun, super great, if it wasn't for the fact that the developers of Escape from Tarkov filed a copyright strike against my channel for playing that mod. And that seems to be the problem with the extraction shooter genre. Almost every single extraction shooter game, including the upcoming Grey Zone Warfare, is online only. Payday 3 was also online only, and they got review bombed into oblivion for it. But for some reason with extraction shooters, it's just to be expected, I guess. But me, personally, I still enjoy single player games, which is why I am very happy to finally have Incursion Red River that I can play. Now, this game just launched on Steam. I've been following these guys for a long time. I've made multiple videos about their game, and a number of their development team members have also worked with development team members working on our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop. So I would say that we're pretty close knit with the development team working on this game. In fact, if you want to, you can go pick up this game and our game by purchasing the bundle that they put together with us on Steam as well. However, the coolest thing about this game is that you can play it in single player. You can play it cooperatively. You can play it offline. This is not an online only game. And for me personally, that is huge. Now, don't get me wrong, Escape from Tarkov has been in development for way longer than this. This game just came out, it's still in early access, it's got lots of things that it needs to do, but it has all of the ingredients for an Escape from Tarkov inspired tactical shooter already here. All of the weapon customization, all of the missions, the traders, the home base that you can upgrade and expand upon, all of the things that you would need to get started with an Escape from Tarkov experience is here. But unlike Escape from Tarkov, right now Red River is probably the only extraction shooter game that you can play that isn't online only and that won't get you sued if you try to install offline mods with it. So today we're going to go through a couple of missions. We're going to explore the game. If you want to go pick this up again, we've got a Steam bundle. You can go and buy this game and our game supporting both of our teams on Steam, which is what I love doing with all of these other indie developers. I think that these guys are worth supporting. Like I said, I think the game is still in a rough early access state, but compared to a lot of other games that have released into early access, I think this is what an early access title should be. It's not perfect, it's not complete, but all of the ingredients are here and all of the mechanics actually work. So if this is the starting point and they can continue improving on this, I could see this game becoming one of the best extraction shooters on the market, especially since it's offline. And I think there is a market for that. There are people who want to play an extraction shooter, but not get constantly teabagged by cheaters and also PvP players who just take the game way too seriously. Some of us just want to casually play an extraction shooter. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? I, apparently so, but not in Red River, because Red River is finally where at least I can have that experience, and you can too. All right, let's get in to some gameplay. So, this is the release version of the game, and I gotta say, it has come a long way from where it was. And hey, it even has inspect animations, as every game should. But, as you guys know, I've been following this game for a while, and compared to when I first covered it, it is night and day now. So, today, I just want to go through a couple of raids to give you an idea of what the game loop is like. Keep in mind, this is a PvE slash co-op shooter, so this is not a PvP online only game. This is a, what I would like to call casual Tarkov, and you know, honestly, I have really been desperately wanting that for a while, but you have all of the Escape from Tarkov mechanics. So, you know, you have your main base and you can even go here and you can expand your base by upgrading your storage. You can buy additional storage for all of your different ammunition, weapons, everything. And of course you can do missions. So once I put up all of the stuff that I just got from my last mission, put all that up. Mm, look at that beautiful AK, which desperately needs an optic, but hey, we'll figure that out later. 
you can go here and you can complete all of these different missions for different factions. In fact, I believe I failed one previously, but when you do complete them, you'll get rewards. In fact, let's take a look at some of the rewards that we can get. Wow, that looks... Yeah, I'll take an AUG. What else do we have here? That's not nearly as good. Is there any other missions that are going to give me... Oh, this one gives me an AUG. Nice. In fact, I think I'm going to go with the first one because this gets me an AUG and an M4A1. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And you can use the money that you get from your raids to purchase everything that you will need. Uh, I mean, again, this is single player slash co-op Tarkov, which is what I've been desperately wanting for forever. Now, there is currently only a single map. Again, this is very early in development, so this is not something that is going to have all of the content that something like Tarkov has, but need I remind you, the first version of Tarkov also had very little content, so I would actually say from a starting point, this is roughly where Tarkov was when Tarkov first came out. Alright, so we've started a mission, and we have to take these little bugs here and plant them at one of these bases. Ah, yes, down here to the south. So we have to plant these bugs in this base, and we can actually utilize weapons that are provided to us by the factions, which is kind of convenient. So you can go into a raid with weaponry that's been provided to you by the faction, but you don't get to keep anything that you get from the raid. So you can go in and you can do missions utilizing equipment that's not yours, but you have to forfeit anything you find except for the mission rewards, which I actually think is kind of nice. I guess that's similar to the scav mechanic from Tarkov, where you can like spawn in as a scav every so often, but it allows you to play as your primary character. You can go in, you can do missions, you can get rewards for doing the missions, but you can't come back out with anything. So even if you lose all of your gear, you can still play the game. All right, we're coming into the base now. I actually have a flashlight attachment on here that I can toggle. And the game is in Unreal Engine 5, so it is utilizing Lumen. So this is an Unreal Engine 5 game, which means that the game is unfortunately a little bit more of a higher demand from a PC standpoint, but... Ooh. I hear somebody else. But I would say... It is still very nice looking, and hopefully as time goes on, they'll also improve the optimization as well. Ooh, you got a foregrip? Yes, please. I'll take that. And then I also want that. And, uh, do you have... No, just a normal dust cover. But I'll take your mag. Yeah, why not? Alright. So let's take a look at our map here. We got a bunch of bugs that we got to place. One of them's inside this room. You can also peek doors, which I think is always a nice feature to have. Bug planted. All right. Where's our remaining objectives? One to the right over here. And another nice thing about this game is that you also have a point aim system, which is very convenient. And I'm really frustrated with games that do not have a point aim system. I feel like every game needs to have that. What is that? Is that an optic? Oh, that is an optic. Yes, please. I will take said optic. Thank you very much, my dude. Alright. Okay, we have one bug to plant here. And then only two left. One all the way down. One all the way up. That means I'll head back this way. Fang, over here! Ooh, and I have unfortunately been hit. I do not have any meds right now. That could have been bad. Oh, hey, you've got something. I will take this as well. But 
just the optic. Thank you. Let's see if these guys had any medicine. The medicine system is still very bare bones. So that is hopefully going to be one of the first things that they improve upon is adding more complexity to the medical system. Alright, here we go. Alright. Bug planted. We should only have one remaining. Sometimes I just like to mag dump for no reason, because why not? Why add point aim into your game if you're not going to mag dump? That's what I say. Okay, we're on the wrong side. I think right here, yeah. Perfect. Alright, now we have to find an extraction point. And there's a variety of extraction points. Which, similar to Tarkov, some of them open at different times, some of them you can unlock in different ways. But this one is just open, so we're going to head to this one first. going to extract with our stuff that we got without dying. Alright, now we're back at base. Let's take a look and see if we succeeded. Boom, yes we did, and there is all of our nice, beautiful new gear. Let's go check that out. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. And that is basically the entire game loop, which I would actually say is pretty solid. This is a great starting point for an extraction shooter. It's only going to get better from here, and with how quickly they have made progress over the last year, I think that they actually are going to make something really good out of this. It's on Steam, it's one of the only extraction shooters on Steam, and it has offline support meaning you can do way more with it than something like Escape from Tarkov, which means you can do way more with it than, say, something like Escape from Tarkov, where you will literally have your channel get taken down if you try to play it single player. All right, that's it from me for today. Go pick up this game, go pick up our bundle, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.